and welcome to The Works. I'm Ben Che. Last month, we introduced pianist Hui Ling's recital in the Leisure and Cultural Services Department's Hong Kong Artists Concert Series. Later on the show, we'll bring you another musician from the series, Hu Chin player Mac Ka Yin, to talk about his upcoming recital in August. Nowadays, what's trending in the art world, especially with digital works, is to generate immersive and interactive experiences and to make it social media friendly. With the rapid development of artificial intelligence and technologies, creators can now use different kinds of tools to enhance user experience. A group of students in a local school have also incorporated these elements into their community project. <laughs> Sehan 不如你說一下世界有什麼記憶在這裡我小時候也不是住在這裡我小時候也不是住在這裡這裡我小時候也不是住在這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡這裡
With the school year coming to an end, students suggested visiting the community again to share their final product with the residents. We are here in the middle of the room. Hello,你好,我们是Gibson中学的师生 你可以找回你自己的店鋪頭就在這裡<笑> 我們都是很有心的 in collaboration with schools in two other districts, the school has published a book called From Classroom to Community, Our Land, Our Passion. Presented at the Block Fair, the book showcases the achievements of students from all three schools. Apart from introducing the publication, the fair gives students the opportunity to connect and chat with their peers from the other districts. Uh,我觉得我将我生活的事区分享给人的事之后,就好像将我平时生活的人间烟火分享给其他学校的同学,令到他们都感受到我生活气息。下一个目的是食洁美村准备出发。食洁美村在哪里呢?食洁美村在
Matt Kayin is trained in different types of Hu Chins. He is currently assistant principal Gao Hu of the Hong Kong Chinese Orchestra. He's also an instructor for Hu Chin major students at the Hong Kong Academy for Performing Arts. In August, he has a Hu Chin recital at the Hong Kong City Hall. And he's here to tell us more. Matt Kayin, welcome to the program. It's great to have you. I'd like to begin by uh, asking you that in addition to your work uh, with the Hong Kong Chinese Orchestra as uh, one of the Hu Chin leaders, um, you have this very exciting concert project coming up, uh, and you've put together a very interesting program that kind of mixes old with new. Tell us about the program that you've put together. Mm, the program is mainly music journey of me in the whole music career. First, the, the first pieces will be the first returning to the woods, which is my first concerto I've ever played. And after that will be some of the traditional pieces of Guangdong music using this instrument. And then I will play some traditional Erhu pieces uh, with the Southern Suzhou Diti and the Tropical Charm. And afterwards, in the second half of the program, I'll be playing some modern music with some Hong Kong composer and Malaysian composers and I will be performing two originals by them and also I've, I've noticed that this seems to be a pattern within your career it's an interesting point that you're you're bringing this instrument from the traditional and keeping the tradition but at the same time promoting its use in a modern context H has that been a, 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 a main point of emphasis for you yeah um, I think it's a little bit featuring myself in this concert because I was I like Japanese animes, I like pop music, I like jazz music, and in my whole life I've been experiencing different music cultures as I was traveling to different parts of the world. And sometimes the local people would like to hear some of the sound of the instruments and I will try to blend it into their music as well. So in the whole life I will try new fields of music and try to promote this instrument as well. So one point that I'm interested in learning more about is you've referred to this instrument as the Huchin, and yet in your concert program you've also talked about Erhu music and that sort of thing. I'd like to better understand what this umbrella term, the Huchin, it actually refers to a family of instruments, right? Yeah. And so maybe take us through the family of instruments and, and what is included in that group of instruments. Okay. So in Western strings family, we have violin, viola, cello, and double bass. So violin would be the highest pitch of the instrument and this one is also the highest pitch instrument of the Chinese strings family. And in Chinese strings family, we have Gaohu, Erhu, Zhonghu, Gehu, and Bass Gehu. So this one will be the highest pitch of all. Could you just give us a couple of sounds okay. uh, on this on this uh, instrument? Okay. Magnificent, and, and what, a, what a great sound it is. Um, and so you've placed the Huchin uh, yourself playing in multimedia projects. You've taken this instrument around the world to different uh, cultural exchange type of programs where you are uh, bringing this instrument, say, to European countries where it may not be as, as popular or well known. Um, so the idea of bringing this to other people and also in a, in a more modern context seems to be a theme for you. Yeah, um, as I was growing up in a Chinese family, and sometimes when I was trying to communicate with other locals, I would like to use the instrument to communicate with them. As in the previous year, we have been working in a drums concert, and we have tried to co cooperate with some uh, East Istanbian musicians. And they also have some strings instruments, which they have another type of playing, different type of styles. And we will try to communicate together and see which fascinating points we have. So we have tried to communicate, not by verbally, but by musically. Wow, fascinating stuff. Uh, and you've mentioned actually your childhood. And I, I'm curious to know, actually, as a, as a musician coming up, my understanding of your musical background is that you didn't actually start with the Huchin. Yeah. When I was small, I was playing the piano first because my sister was playing it first, so I would like to learn it as well. And when I was entering secondary school years, um, it was the time when Li Yundi won the Shopin comp uh, competition. And at the, at when he came back to Hong Kong, one of the famous Erhu performers, Xin Xiaoling, was invited to do a performance for him. 
And when Xin Xiaoling was performing the horse racing, which is a famous piece of Erhu, I really liked the sound of Erhu because normally when we when we heard Erhu, we only heard some sound like like this. But when she was playing, I can feel the energetic spirit of the Erhu. So I like the spirit of that. So at, at that time, I tried to learn Erhu. So here in the studio, there's two pieces that you've prepared for us. Maybe you can tell us, uh, share with us a little bit uh, of detail about these two pieces. Okay, the first pieces I will be performing will also be the first piece of the program, which is the birds returning to the woods. And in these pieces, I will try to use some techniques to imitate the sound of the birds. And then we'll use some uh, repetitive melodies to imitate birds flying back to the forest. And the second piece will be a new composition, an original by Hong Kong, music, uh, Hong Kong composer Lok Wai Jun. And in these pieces, he tried to use music to represent the energetic feeling of Lan Guai Fong. So the title of the music will be Lan Guai Tang Fong. Fantastic. I look forward to hearing it. Thank you.